Look, I'm going to show y'all how they be editing this body cam footage, man. And they be fooling the public. This guy, Miles Jackson, got shot in a hospital in Columbus, Ohio. There's two officers in the room, right? The camera view you're looking at right now, it has Miles Jackson on the screen with the gray hoodie on and the officer in the background. And the, the, the camera view you're looking at is the second officer. It's his body cam. And instead of releasing both videos from both officers, unedited, just straight raw footage, they release a video to where it switches back and forth from, you know, one officer's camera to the other officer's camera whenever it's convenient for, for the police. I guess maybe they're trying to hide something. I don't know. But when you got cutouts and edits in the video like that, then it's obvious that the video is edited and it could be other things left out of the video. You see what I'm saying? Now, let me show y'all what's going on. Oh, no, that's just my people stuff. That's your people stuff? Yeah. You like the property guy? Hold on to everybody's stuff for him? Yeah. Now, you see, the, the camera just switched right there. That's all the proof we need to know that this ain't unedited body cam footage it's not raw you can't call it raw we should be getting this officer's footage unedited to where it don't switch back and forth and we should be getting the other officers the same way now if if they haven't already released it to the public because i haven't i can't find any information on them releasing just raw footage from one officer or the other one or both then y'all need to be questioning this police station and asking them where the fuck these camera angles at that's missing? Arm behind his back right now. Oh, stop. What is you stop. Doing? stop. 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 Now you see how the, the camera just switched again? It just it just switched three times in that short time span. Watch. Right there. Switch right there. Switch back. Get his, get his arm behind his back right now. Oh, stop. And once again, stop. Stop. Right stop. And, they, and they did it real slick right here, too. Because you could barely tell it went to the other officer. One more time. It's going to go real close to his hoodie and then switch. Stop. Stop. See? Now it's the officer on the right camera again. So more footage we could be missing. You get that arm. Yo, sir, you was grabbing my balls, man. Give me your arm now. Get out of there now. Man, you grabbing my balls, man. Oh, man. I can't. I'm giving it to you, man. Get let go. Now, the officer that's on Miles Jackson's left supposedly trying to stop him from grabbing a gun that's in his pants, right? That that's supposed to be the narrative. Now, if that's the case, shouldn't we be watching this fucking video from his point of view instead of the officer that's on the right? We can't see shit that's going on. All we see is this nigga orange pants in the fucking screen. I'm trying to alarm y'all. There's They haven't released the video of this officer's point of view while the scuffle is going on. That's a fucking problem. The whole co community in Columbus, Ohio should be irate right fucking now. You see what I'm saying? What, what What's the problem? Why can't we be looking at this video from this officer's point of view? We see his face right here. I don't care how bad it is. It, it's shaking and shit. Like, we need to see that shit. Because we need to see if we can see what he, what he telling us going on. You know what I'm saying? They say he got a gun on him. Well, let's see the fucking footage. Let's see if you was actually wrestling a gun away from him or whatever the fuck was going on. He really is on my arms, man. Oh, on. Get security, I'm man. I'm going to comply, man. I'm going to comply, bro. You just... Oh, so you start fuck, tasing him. man. Oh. Let go! Oh, man. It's still in there, dude. It's still in there. Oh. Oh. Now, look. You see this camera view right here? It, the body cam is right on his chest. 
and supposedly the guy is going into his pants and grabbing a gun. But instead of us getting his point of view, that, that would make 10 times more sense for us to see the officer's camera that's right in front of the fucking guy who's supposed to be grabbing the gun instead of the guy that's behind him and, you know, blocking the view with his legs and shit. You see? Now, that was supposed to be a gunshot. They acting like the man reached in his pants and shot the gun through through his pants some kind of way. Like, I don't know. It's some weird shit going on in this video. Now, in this frame right here, you can see the cop's arm clearly, right? And then all of a sudden, that weird shit pop up in the screen like they added something to the video, I'm telling you. And, and why would they do that? I'm going to take my best guess. Now, you see that shit pop up and cover his arm, right? It's like simultaneous with the gunshot. Could they have added something to this video to cover up the man's arm because it just ironically happened to pop up right over his arm where you can't see shit that's going on in this area anymore. Did they try to cover up him being the person that let off that gunshot? Because they tried to say that Miles Jackson the one that let off that gunshot. I wouldn't put it past these motherfuckers, I'll tell you that. This right here, whatever this is, does not look natural. It looked like something that was added to the fucking video. You can see the, the cop's arm go right behind whatever this object or whatever this figure is. So are they are they adding shit to videos to try to cover up what this officer was doing with his hand? What, what the fuck is going on? I just know this looks weird as fuck right here. And this ain't the first time I've seen some weird shit going on in these body cam videos as soon as shit hit the fan. Like, they'll, sh they'll show you that the suspect supposedly turned around and was about to shoot. But as soon as you see the, the suspect supposedly about to turn around, the video get all fuzzy and weird. And you start seeing artifacts that ain't supposed to be there and shit. Because, I mean... I got a little experience with the photoshopping and uh, video editing, so you ain't just gonna slide this past me and me not question the shit. Now, you can say I'm wrong if you want, but I'd like to see y'all proof that that pretty much goes against this because this don't look natural to me. Now, now you see, the officer still right in front of the guy. This is important footage that we missing all because they didn't release this guy's point of view they just rather had switched it to the, this other officer that's behind all the action for whatever reason they i'm telling y'all they trying to hide something and it never switches back to the other officer's camera ever like i said we need this officer who, whose camera's on your screen right now. We need the rest of that footage uncut, unedited, and everything like that. Until then, bro, I'm going to question everything these motherfuckers do because they think they slick, and they think everybody ain't going to catch on to this shit. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. This this type of shit pissed me off, bro, because these, these sheep, gone, they going to read the description they going to hear what the officers to told them happened, and they're going to run with that shit every single time and, and just say, fuck the guy that got killed. We don't need to investigate. We don't need, we don't need more clarity, even though it's angles missing out of this fucking body cam.